Hi, I'm here today with Linda Yu from Oxford University. Hi Linda, thanks Hello. for speaking to us today. Linda, there's always a lot of talk about how investors should put all their money into emerging markets. Do you see emerging markets as sustainable? Mm. I think they are sustainable, but they will be volatile. And the reason is because they're less developed countries. So there's a few sources of volatility. One is that they have underdeveloped institutions. Yeah. So for instance, they don't operate things like automatic stabilizers. So fiscal policy doesn't yeah. work counter-cyclically. They also have a lot of institutional, uh, let's just call it underdevelopment. Yeah. And so they tend to be subject to much uh, greater business cycles and movements. So growth could be much stronger in the coming years because emerging markets, a space that are more populous, yeah. they're poor, they're growing faster, but it will be growth more, with more volatility and that normally yeah. means investors have to just be aware of that. So perhaps not all your eggs in the emerging markets basket for that reason. Sure. Are there any particular regions that um, investors should concentrate on? I particularly think that Asia has great potential, um, but also I think there's a lot of parts of Eastern Europe which are also faring very well. Mm. I think for Latin America and Africa, there are more challenges because in recent years, their yeah. growth has been driven by a commodity boom. I would need to see that they had a more sustainable growth path after the commodity boom phase, which inevitably sure. it will. But I think for me, the reason why I focus on Asia in particular, mm. and also in part Eastern Europe, is because they have large domestic markets. Some of these countries have vast populations. Ultimately, to grow well over the medium or the longer term, you yeah. need to have your own consumers and your own firms, which have economies of scale in your domestic market. So Asia is about 50% of the world's population. Mm. And for me, over the past 20 years in particular, they have grown well and I think looking ahead China India Indonesia yep. the ASEAN region if they can integrate a bit more in terms of the market yeah. have real potential significant growth opportunities sure, there. sure. Um, another thing I would like to ask you about is um, socially responsible investment if you're investing in emerging markets can you still fulfill your SRI um, requirements I think you can and in fact I would urge companies to do so because there's no reason why standards should change if you operate in different countries and in fact mm. the move in developing countries emerging markets is to yeah. have higher standards trying to meet global norms because these days there's no such thing as operating mm. within one country's boundaries yeah. so for instance if you're a multinational corporation and you do something in China or the Philippines that you wouldn't do your in your yeah. home country it reverberates so for me it's actually a very positive process and in fact one of the things that I think is most promising in emerging markets is that they're integrating at a time mm -hmm. when globally standards are being increased so they can catch up. You don't have to just catch up on technology. Yeah. You can catch up on rules, norms, standards, laws, and that could actually help their development. And for me, companies play a huge role in this. Sure. It's, and I think that is actually a significant growth opportunity yeah. in its own right. Of course, yes. Thank you so much for that insight. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You.